Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and thank you for joining us on our channel. How are you doing there? Yep, looks, uh, well, legs is all good. How are you doing, sheep? I think we might be a bit disturbing you today, uh, Mr. Sheep. I, I do hope that's not going to be a problem. Well, what we're going to do today is I'm going to give Lexter a slight task of doing a bit of construction work. We haven't done too much of that in our uh, farm simulator series, but we've found a time where we've expanded the farm that it's we're driving around this area quite a lot. So I've asked Lexter to try and help sort that problem out. So Lexter will be finding some sort of uh, shed and a suitable place to place it and perhaps to maybe i know a pathway a gate whatever i'm giving him the freedom to help solve the problem of perhaps sharing some of our vehicles out so i have bought one of the new mowers around now lex the last time i used his i haven't used mine so i'm going to kind of uh, help lex a little bit by tidying up around where he's built as well so the options are of course in this field where the sheep are where the grapes are or where the trees are down here so of course you might be able to uh do a few things this but lexter is negotiating the uh the shed options there so uh i will just leave him be for a minute so once you're ready lexter if you want to place your shed whether it's here or whether it's in the grapes wherever you suited let us know when you're ready so i am going to uh so use our new mower now i haven't really done this bit yet so uh this will be quite a change i'm not going to do this particular field because this field is a bit all big to do with this mower but if Lexa decides to put a shed into this field then I might well help out uh, just kind of a finishing touch but for now let's move on so we can open the gates oh close it I often do that and close Lex that is still concentrating so that's not a problem we'd rather he assesses all the options and the best options oh it looks like we've got a construction cost of ten thousand pounds oh i can see in the distance there he has bought a shed so we will take a look as we i can head over that way anyway so that's uh just we can carry on up to the top because I'm just going to mow the grass in that area at the top of the uh, grapes there right when we go so when I've seen we bought these mowers we got two each we got two each <laughs> one each we got two of these mowers but again we can leave one of these mowers in the new shed other than in the farm so again it's just a way that we can leave some of the actual uh, machinery separated a bit shall we say so uh, we're going we're going to get there don't worry we're on the May it's only a seven mile an hour vehicle <laughs> uh, so you see that Lex is on the move up to his uh, shed there so really Lex though, I'll tell you one thing that will be quite handy Lexter, I'll tell you and say one thing that would be handy if you got uh, this way, sir. One thing that would be good if you can create. Are you in the menus or are you, are you with me? A gate in between the brick wall to the grapes. If we can have some sort of access between these two fields around here, that will be making it easier rather than having to go. All the way down there and round. 
in there and I hopefully something won't go wrong <laughs> right so I'm just going to mow this bit of grass down here so the first time I've used these so it does, I don't know how quick it fills up fills up it might well fill up quite quick it also good on the hills way that goes up on the hill quite well doesn't it So if we had an access, then what I can do is easily run the uh, grass up into the sh pen for the sheep to feed. So I don't know if he can do that, but I'm sure there's an option for that. So let's take a look at this. Well, it's got, got a really good turning circle. It's actually quite, feels more faster on the... Uh, grass surface than it does on the uh, on the roads there we go oh, we're 100% uh, full well that didn't take long so Lexa has gone for the old fashioned shed look now I don't know if it's a British look or American look either way it's tall it's big it divided so there's plenty of room options it is one of the uh, lower cost end options purely because of the conditions but you have got many different areas to actually provide moving so if you want to store food or you've got a larger vehicle one side then you can have that option so uh, yeah Right, so uh, where's we need actually to put somewhere to put our grass, don't we? Right, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so the construction, let's just take a look at the construction once it's finished doing that. So we've got the construction. So these are the different buildings that Lexa recently looked at. And go down to the sheds there and go along so Alexa purchased this one here and then you got these other driven tires so it really does depends on the size and what you want to store but of course some of them are really quite expensive of course uh, then we can have a look at you got all these different storage expansions and the containers from fuel right up to all the different bits we've got additional tools here we've not really looked too much at these with everybody uh, so yeah we've got a uh, electric charging station making it more modern day of course a vehicle workshop so as your farm expands you can uh, explain, even build yourself a new farmhouse if you wish to and that then also can you can then do production your sell points greenhouses now that's an idea that's a good idea Lexter perhaps by the bumblebees we can actually put a greenhouse or two hmm idea for next video <laughs> so anyway so yeah I was just flicking through these uh, so we you got your greenhouses Yorkshire's which we got just over there generators of course solar power and solar winds again this one here is a mod which we're not using it is a good way of making money for nothing so a wind turbine which actually generates some money 
interesting hmm might be worth investing in uh, some of these things and the next option of course you got the different animal pens and there's the ones of the bees the others which is the dog chickens sheep so you can expand on your mat to different things now decorations here again right through to your fences So I don't again all different styles from decorative, wooden, and all, all these type. So is that we've got a gate here? I wonder if uh, we can can we do that? Do you think? No, I don't. We might have to demolish the wall a bit to actually build on that. So, yeah, anyway, uh, back to what I was doing. So, lighting, you have different lighting effects. Again, around the farm. Or just like that road. So, again, all additional bits. And landscaping option. Again, you can uh, flatten, raise the surrounding grounds. Again, it's all done out of a cost, etc. So, uh, yeah, we're not really looked too much at that menu, but there is that menu. So, uh, where is Lex? I know what. Where is he? He's. Is he up here? He says he is. Oh, it looks like he's at the farm. Can skip through this door. So Lexa, where are you? You're in the front. So how about? Oh, are you busy? Are you busy? Have you got an idea, or have you got? Or do you want an idea? How about while we're doing a bit of construction, we place a greenhouse down here? Do you like that idea? Uh, do you want to do it now or next video? Hop out the. Year. Do you want to do it now? Do you want to construct that a greenhouse now, or do you want to do what you're going to do? If you fancy doing the greenhouse now, just hop out the tractor. If you want to continue doing the uh, grape thing, uh, drive off to the grapes. I think he's looking at the uh, construction menu. So what I'm going to actually do myself now again so you've got the animals you've got the pigs cows bees so I might I'm tempted to add to the bees so I don't know where uh, Obviously, that's quite a lot of money, you know, what we got there. Obviously, you do get money back over time. But, wow, that's... Uh, you got 10 hives for 12,000 and 13 for 19. So, I... I hmm. I'm going to go for it. Can we do that? Can we... Can we twist it around? Wow, look at that. I've added some bees. Lex has added the greenhouse. okay so let's uh, let's take a look at that so there we go we've got extra bees which is hopefully going to speed up the honey process and then we got some uh, our first greenhouse oh look he's got the uh, water butt all going out uh, let's take a look on the inside there we go 
we haven't got anything obviously growing at the moment so uh, perhaps we will take a look at perhaps tidying the flooring up around here in our next video so we have been going about 15 minutes at the moment so the next video I think we should look at perhaps do some uh, We'll get rid of these weeds and the bushes and improve the flooring in this area just to tidy it up. Right, so let's just do a little bit more of where we are. Lexus off to uh, to do the grounds on the gate. So you can see he's got connected. So um, yeah, I need to uh, unload this grass somewhere. So what happens if I put it here? Let's have a look. I'm going to make a mess on the road, am I? That probably wasn't a good idea, really, was it? Wow. <laughs> I wanted to take a look to see how much it was. Uh, to how much is unloaded. I can't believe how much is in there compared to uh, what's on the floor I'm not sure whether that really adds up um, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna well pick it back up with the mowers and we're just gonna mow it and I'm hoping that oh no it's not I thought it might go back up but it's not <laughs> Uh, right, okay. So anyway, all right, okay. Not a lot I can do about that now. Apart from get told off. Right, so let's fill this up anyway. It doesn't, doesn't they? There is actually a game, a fun it's actually quite a relaxing game it's called lawnmower simulator yes there are simulators pretty much for everything so you can actually buy a game which is just based on lawn mowing and it might sound a bit you know is it really necessary but it's actually quite a fun relaxing game there are plenty of simulator games out there now right from driving flight simulators farming simulators you know, police simulators, fire simulators, yeah, you know, of course, managing buildings and theme parks. There are so many simulator games out there now. So, yeah, so, uh, sorry, Lex, I made a mess on your path. I did think it, I could just uh, mow it up afterwards, but it hasn't actually let me. <laughs> But I'm sure we'll sort that out. But I have to say, I am impressed with this mower. It's certainly got a uh, very good uh, turning circle. Right, so that's just... Head down to the sheep. And we can... Uh, Unload it there and give them a nice fresh crack grass. Dum -de -dum. Yes, you do have a option. Have we got it on this one? Uh, no. Some tractors and some of the other vehicles do have a option of uh, music, a radio. So if you fancy that, you can turn a radio on. But of course, we can't really do that anyway. Nope, Alexis bought some sort of new vehicle. Not sure what he's purchased there. That's weird. It's all uh, a bit wet and muggy, muddy there. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to close this gate up. Close this one up. We're finished taking this over to the sheep 
then we can park the mower up into the new shed and take a look there we go looks like the sheep are having a bit of a glitchy day today and you're all right mate ain't you yeah he's all right okay so i think what lex has done actually is he's actually moved some of the vehicles into the shed itself by the looks at i can just about make out the uh Halves a bit for the grapes into the shed. So let's just do that, and that will go into there, and that will then fill up the feeding areas for the sheep. There we go. Some nice fresh cut grass. You fancy some? Oh, pets they do. They're coming over. So the animal health is 100%. Got plenty of food in there. There is water in there. Oh, sorry. Anyway, might need to get some water very soon. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's uh, go park this up into our new shed. Oh, he's going to pick. Oh, I know what he's going to do. <laughs> Yeah, because he's that dumping that grass, he's uh, he's had to, he's bought the uh, the bucket to pick up the grass. <laughs> so we can keep one of the mowers in here and one down that farm. I'm sure it weren't that bad. <laughs> oh look, there's a hot air balloon. Now, personally, I think the person who has made this mod for this map uh, is a another English map that I believe he is working on. And that also does show a hot air balloon. So I kind of think this hot air balloon is his uh, trademark. And I don't blame him. It's a, a really good bit. But I don't think I've seen it this big this close up shall we say it looks to hop out a moment have a look behind you do you think you've seen that um hot air balloon that big before i don't think so normally it's sort of sank in the distance but it's probably bigger size anyway i'll let lex to clean this up we will say thank you very much for watching today and uh have a good time everyone, take care now, there we go, all done, well, almost, there we go, <laughs> take care everyone, bye for now.